In this movie, we're going to talk about borders, fonts, and colors. Using Report 2, our report that points at the revenue and office tables, we're going to play around a little bit. Go ahead and right click on the Group 1 Name field, and we're going to choose Format field. And let's go ahead and choose Border. By default, the group name fields come with a single bottom border. That's the border that goes around the imaginary box that allows us to place it on the report and defines the boundaries of that name. You can also choose to put some on top and you can choose the style. Single, double, dash, dotted. You can also choose a background for that field. Let's go ahead and choose yellow. Now the border you can also choose. Instead of being traditional black we can make it navy. There's also a few other formatting. You can drop a shadow on it or make it a tight horizontal. Let's show you what they do. Notice we have a nice sample when we click the drop shadow. You get to see it has a nice little shadow here and a nice navy blue color we have chosen for our border. The tight horizontal doesn't really do too much for you in this case. Then of course we can choose the font. You can make it as big or as small as the font allows. You can also choose virtually any font. For illustrative purposes, I'm going to choose one that's especially annoying. Only to prove a point, not the fact that I have poor taste. That's already been proven again and again, but simply so it stands out in your mind. We'll try the Matura script. Notice how it gives me a nice sample. And press OK. The size of your font is going to be restricted by the size of the text box it finds itself in. For example, if I format my field again and go to my common, and I haven't checked can grow, well, then the box stays the same no matter how big the font is on the inside, and then words start to get cut off. So if I choose can grow, I then have the option of choosing the maximum number of lines it can grow to, or enter zero for no limit, and press OK, and hit preview. When I say can grow, as you noticed, it can grow either horizontally or vertically. On the preview tab, it's a lot bigger than it is on the design tab. Also, my color scheme is extremely annoying. I hope you don't take my advice on my color schemes. I have been told, and it has been mentioned many times, that I'm colorblind. However, you have to choose the colors that work best for you. As an illustrative purpose, this works out pretty good. Go ahead and click on the design tab. Let's say you needed to format several fields all at once. Take your mouse over to group footer 3, place it about right there, and click and hold down. Now drag your mouse as you click and hold down. Notice how that line appears, creating this temporary selection box, if you will. Now this can be as big as I need it to be, or go up or go down, but in this case we just need it to select these objects here. And right click. Now it's a multiple selection as it states here, but you can still format the objects. You can choose the borders and the fonts. Now if you're mixing objects, for example, numeric objects and text objects or strings, it'll still let you choose them, but you're not going to see all the options for numbers and all the options for string. You're going to fall in the default options, regardless if it's a text number or a string or whatever it happens to be. You can still choose its font, tell it how big to be, tell it what color to be, and tell what kind of border needs to go around it. You can also tell them to suppress, suppressive, duplicated, lock and sufficient, but you do lose some options that get grayed out. You can also select all objects on a report by simply dragging your mouse, including the selection box, over every single report that you can see. Let's say you didn't need to do that. You can also right click on each section and choose select all section objects. And whether or not you can see it or not, it will select every single object that happens to be placed in that section, either by you or by Crystal. From there, we can simply right-click and format the objects as we see fit. Let's go ahead and format the objects here in Group Footer 3. I decided to select them manually and choose Format Objects after right-clicking. You can choose the font that you need to see. In this case, I'm going to choose Tahoma. I can also type in T, and it'll take me to the T's. I'm going to choose Tahoma. And I'm going to choose 11 points, and the color is going to be navy blue. I can also define the character spacing exactly, but that gets a little bit complicated because if you choose the wrong one, it could ram your fields together or the data within the fields together and make no sense. You can also spread them out as you see fit as well. 
I tend to like to use the default, so I'll leave it alone. I'll go ahead and press OK. Notice after I changed it, some of the fields grew a little bit. That's based on the font that you chose. Each font for a given amount of characters or character length will adjust the actual text box it finds itself in. You can of course correct this by manually dragging it back into place or out of place. Go ahead and hit preview. Go ahead and skip to the next page and scroll up. Now aside from the default black I have blue. This can really come in handy if you want something to jump out or stand out. Go ahead and click on design and we'll cover one last thing. If you don't like the predefined colors Go ahead and choose Border, Font, and click on the Color drop-down. From here, you can click on More and actually physically define these colors that you see fit. Now keep in mind, these colors will be stored with the report if you have any custom colors. You also have to be careful because custom colors that may look good on your screen may not necessarily transfer to someone else's PC. It also gives you the hue, the saturation, and the luminance, as well as the red, green, and blue, which then allows you to kind of find standardized colors if you're looking for something specific. As you can see, Crystal gives you more than enough options in terms of font, sizes, borders, as well as all the different colors you can have.